Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to Nasper E4, Colonel Part 118. We got Talladega. This is this is probably the worst thing to say as I'm just starting out the video, but I'm just I just don't feel very enthusiastic to go into Talladega. Like I like I sometimes it's just not a great feeling to go into it knowing that you're maybe gonna win. And it's just uh I don't know what to really say. It's just I don't know, it's just, it, it just, we've been through this so much in the, the crew mode, I'm just putting the, uh, the draft partners to enable, but, I mean, we've been through it so much at this point, and it's happened, like, so many times at our play tracks, um, and, I don't know, sometimes they're not always in, enthralling, I don't know, but we will try our best and do our bestiest things and see what happens, and maybe we'll be surprised and something weird will happen, I don't know, but, um, starting off on a not so uh, enthusiastic vibe, but hopefully that can change as the the race uh, progresses. So we'll go in the we'll just jump right in because qualifying well, you know you don't don't mean shit because we'll always run last. So yeah, I'll just get into it. So we'll just jump straight into it. We're gonna be starting last. Okay, 39th. So one car got sent to the back. So that's interesting. Usually it's always two, maybe three, sometimes two. So kind of shocked there's only just one. Ryan Priest is slow. Corey LaJoy. Okay, Chris Bush went to the back. So it's gonna be uh it's gonna be a journey episode. We'll see how far we can go up through the field in just one stage. Jimmy Johnson's on pole. Well holy shit, that's pretty cool. Maybe he can get a win. Yeah, so we'll have like uh, thirteen laps in the stage, nine in the fuel. And we already are off to a pretty decent start, so we do have draft help and all that good stuff. Now we just gotta see uh, how many spots we can gain in the stage. Because also, we don't have our tire pressures in, so that also kind of affects us a little bit too. So, uh, yeah. I think we can probably get up to like the top 15 maybe by the end of the stage if I had to guess. We'll see. Ooh, thank you, Harvick. I appreciate that. That's just a casual four wide at Talladega, which again, that's a big track, so it, could, it does work. We're definitely going up to the field. William Byron's in the lead, and Shrek just side drafted me, and I lost all my momentum. So, thank you. Ow! Okay, thanks, Harvick. I again, I appreciate it. That's it's a uh, don't got two oh six. Please, Shrek, don't stop. Thank you. You, did, you sometimes don't kind of. I thought you know sometimes with the the AI like pulled down, the other AI will like stop. And I was anticipating that, but it didn't happen. So it made me look like a like a big old dumb, dumb, dumb. Damn, Austin Dillon just showed me right through there. <laughs> At a boy, alrighty, all right. So we're in 21st. Oh my god, we could get up in the top 15 better sooner than I thought. I, I wasn't sure. Oh my god, that's a bar stool car in front of me. That is that is cool looking. It is a good looking scheme too. Yeah, we are up in the top, almost 15. Austin Dillon is my draft partner. Maybe he'll push me, but he's not really close enough to me yet. Yeah, we're just taking our, trying to take our time, just using the inside line and all that stuff. And I mean, it's it's working out. I mean, we're moving up to the field. Nope, Kligerman, you're not going to side draft me and make me lose all my momentum. So no. Austin Dillon's still behind me, so that's cool. Jimmy Johnson is falling back after starting on the pole. You hate to see it. And I think that's Ricky Stenhouse up there in the top five with Landon Castle. <laughs> Landon Castle's up there too. Damn. Go, go Landon Castle. Austin Dillon's still behind me. He's barely there, but he's still behind me. And that is a great looking scheme from the 95. I got said. Wow. One bite. I, I don't understand all the, 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 the lingo, but it but it, it it looks cool. I guess that's the that's the point. Just cracked inside the top ten. We're in ninth. We got by McDowell, who kind of kind of is starting to be on my my bad side lately. But thankfully, he didn't do anything dumb there. And we're up to sixth in five laps. I, I'm shocked. I'm honestly shocked. Oh my God, the speed! We're at like 207. Did we get 208 at one point? I don't know. But we're we're going for fucking hauling ass. 207. Oh, I saw 208 for like a millisecond. Wow, we're there. And we got a yellow. Alright. So, we'll go with the rights. We'll put in our tire pressures. And then, go from there. Alright, we got the pole. Pole? What? <laughs> Come on. I got first off pit road. Which is good. So, I guess here we might have taken four, I guess. Just the fact that I gained that much time. 
we will uh, we'll be able to make it to the end obviously of the stage with no problem so five to go and we're in the lead and i think we'll be fine i think so uh i'm just gonna focus block and and just wait to see if something else interesting happens That was cute. Well, I, I got nothing. He just he just straight up just got the lead. Now I gotta reel him back in. And with two to go, I don't know. Oh, thank you, Ty Dillon. I definitely do need a little bit of draft help, and thank you. Weird for me to say that, but ooh, look at that. We just got like a hell of a run now. Oh, maybe maybe it is possible. Just gotta set this pass up on them. Oh, oh, Ty. Oh. He just left me out to dry. He just left me. I mean, he just like abandoned me, like my ex did. Okay. Good news is uh, we're back in the draft. We didn't really lose anything too much, so um, we're good. So Ty, I'm a little, I'm a little disappointed in you. I'm, a, I'm very disappointed. So white flag in the stage, and uh, I think we could maybe—I don't know. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. So we get a good run here. Go up high. Use the draft McDowell to get by Boyer, and then duck down low. And if, if Boyer pushes me here in turn three, this would be a good. This would be good. Oh, maybe I don't even need to. Oh my god, it's giving me one of them Atlanta finishes at Talladega. I think. Please, I need help. I need a, like, I need a, someone to push me. Please? No? Oh, but, oh my god. No, no, not Boyer. Oh, boo. No, oh, that's a boo. That's lame. No, I, I just. Of all people, it had to be Boyer. Okay, four tires and fuel, put all my pressures in. I up the tape to five more extra percent, so it's at 35, and we're second. So, I guess everybody did the same thing. We didn't gain anything up here, road, so should be able to get a good restart. Hold their own for a little bit, and then just kind of, you know, see what happens from here. So, I think this next stage should be about 11 laps, maybe, or 12, or 10. Okay, well, that, all right. So... Uh, can I even clear Boyer? No, I don't. I don't have the God tier restarts like I usually would here. Maybe that's Daytona I'm thinking about. I don't know. Trying to side draft them, I think it kind of worked, but it just wasn't enough. Right? Oh, oh, Boyer, what are you doing? All right, I'll go three wide. Sure. Oh, oh my God, we already right, we got the lead. All right. <laughs> Uh-oh, Parker Kligerman got around me on the outside. New leader. Is that Cody Ware behind me? Oh my god, we have so, like so many like random people up here at the front. It's almost kind of disgusting. <laughs> got Randon Castle. Randon, what the fuck? Landon Castle, Parker Kligerman, Reagan, Cody Ware? Uh, Michael McDowell. I mean, this is just... It's like the most random people do really well here. It's strange. Some poor sap in the back has lost the draft entirely. That would probably be me, like, if I didn't do like two seasons off camera here still but oh uh, well i mean it's really cool to see landon castle leave though so that, that's cool however i like to try to pass oh now he's my draft partner now he's gonna block me even though he's trying to draft he's gonna block me. oh i pushed him a little bit and he just pulled away oh or maybe my or maybe Kligerman is slowing me down getting a nice little little suck here off turn two we'll get right up to his bumper then peek down low Side draft. Oh, that was perfect. Oh, that was that was so perfect that I'm I'm a little nauseous. Do we get the lead though? I don't know because Reagan's gonna push him. Oh my God, he's he just he pushed him. Can someone for the love of God push me? Is that is it, am I asking for too much? I need help. I need help at a restricted plate. Eric Jones, please, anyone. This. Oh my God, the frames. But ain't. <laughs> Anyone, please, give me some... I need help. I need some... Like, nobody's pushing me. Like, how... How freaking pity. Pity? Pitiful. Pitiful. There we go. I can't even speak today. Uh-oh. Oh, they're pitting. 
That's interesting. Stage strategy, maybe? But they might get penalized, though, because they will oh, maybe they won't, because I don't know, but... That's the thing. Like, I'm all up for uh, getting, like, penalized, because it's like you're, you're pitting with under two to go on the stage. I, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. At least give the AI the same penalty. Like, because we got some imbalancing problems, and I don't like that. Also, we're going to be running out on the last lap, which I just noticed, so this could be very weird or really good. I don't know. Reagan, oh my god! There was a lot of other people down pit road. All right, well, uh, now we just uh, we, we uh, laid in our bed. We made our bed, and now we have to lie in it. I, I fucked that up. So last lap of the stage, we'll be running out of fuel, maybe on the back straightaway here. So this will be interesting, to say the least. So, um, yep, all right, we're already at zero. So who is second? And they're losing time, so I think... They might be running out of fuel? They might have ran themselves out of fuel. So now... I'm kind of surprised. Yeah! <laughs> well, that worked out perfectly. And that pinned a lot of people lap down. Oh my god. <laughs> god damn it. Alright, four tires and fuel. Um. Wow. Okay, some people are staying out. But yeah, that... Oh my god. I... I was going to run out of fuel, and that was going to be interesting, and then, oh my god, the game just benefited me there big time. Alright, four tires and fuel, and we might start like sixth or something, because those other cars stayed out, I think. Oh, no, eleventh. Well, uh, yeah, we're going to, I don't know, I don't, I mean, it's not too bad. If it was any other, any other track, maybe this would be a little bit a little shitty, but it's not too bad. We got like 18 to go or something, so, 19, 18. 19 to go, so it will be a clear cut. Oh, I don't know. It might be a two stopper. It might just be one. I don't know. It's going to be really close if it goes green all the way. So I guess the plan is just to stay out as long as I possibly can. But already off to a really good start, up to eighth, and yeah, I think we can get up there. If, it, if someone please pushes me, though, that would be really fucking great. Like, literally, I, I've not been pushed since I think stage one. And it was from Austin Dillon and Ty Dillon, two of the least people that I would ever want, and, and, well, and Harvard too, that I would ever really want to be pushed. And it, don't wait, did I see some pop up, or was I just seeing things? I don't know. Nice little run here, we'll go down low. Ooh, that speed, like 207 there for a second. And we got Ryan Priest to the lead. And we got Harvard, oh, see, look at that, Harvick's going to push me, I appreciate that. Oh, and I can't go anywhere. Uh, Harvick, thank you. Wow, I... Of all tracks, Talladega. Best friends with Harvick, Talladega. Oh my god, it's like, ooh, I can go on a lot, a lot of tangents about what he did at Talladega, but I don't want to go there today, because he's helping me out. And new leader. Hooray. Alright, Brad got around me on the outside, loose a little bit of side draft. I'm going to try to... <laughs> that's not side drafting, that's side hitting. Oh, god, stop with the frame dippage. I need a mirror at restrictor play tracks. I'm not going to turn the damn thing off. What? My God. Oh, my God. It's just... Oh, it's annoying. But we only drop back to second. We should be able to get the, the draft back on Brad and just get right by him. So I don't think it's too much to be worried about. But it, it, does, it does mean if uh, things work out, I can lose this race. So there is that. Also, uh, hello, amazing draft. Side draft. Oh, okay. That was a little, little touch, but... And are we going to get the lead back? Uh, yes, we are. Okay, beautiful. And also, Michael McDowell is fast. He keeps losing. Like, he keeps... He goes from, like, second, then he falls back to, like, way outside the top ten. And then he just mows his way back up in the back. So, it's, he's he's just fast today. It's like the BJ McLeod of my career. <laughs> wow. Wow, I got split. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, damn. Oh, Kurt, hello. I think he was actually going to kind of work with me, too. Well, that's, I appreciate that, but... Wow. I mean, I just got split. That was that was incredible. The sucker hole just... The <laughs> sucker hole? God damn it, why can I not talk? The sucker hole just killed me. All right, we're going to make that sucker hole work again. Go right in the middle. Use J Jimmy's lap down. Oh, that's right. People were trapped. Okay, well, I wonder why I'm in six, and yeah, it's not as bad as it seems. Is one car gonna like get the like the lead lap back in like the old-fashioned way? I guess that's what Jimmy's trying to. Uh oh, they're pitting. 
Okay, thank God they didn't stack up, because that would have been a big problem. But with those cars pitting, there's no way in hell they can make it to the end. I can maybe make it. It'll be close, but we have a shot. Those cars that pitted, they're going to be screwed. When we do pit here, I will be taking, like, four tires in the fuel, just because it's basically an entire fuel run. So there's real, there's real, like, there's no real, like, reason to not do that. So that's what I'll do. I think Eric Jones will pit too. I don't know. We'll find out. This car does have, like, that weird little juking thing. No, I think it is. Oh, yes, it is. I can, I, oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, well, we'll try to stay out as long as we possibly can. Michael McDowell and Tyler Reddick just two-car tangoed sort of around me. It was kind of incredible, to be honest. And poor Jimmy Johnson's going to go, oh, oh, thank you, Austin Dillon. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Wow, I just got like, I don't even know what that was, but my ass, oh. Well, poor Jimmy's now two laps down. What a, what a bad day for him. Oh, my God. Kurt, I think I boned in that. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. He's two laps. Oh, my God. All right. Well, we can make it to the end on fuel now, so never mind. We fell back to 16th because all, all those other cars pitted, and we didn't have a chance to lap them or put them a lap down. Brendan Gaughan is leading with, like, maybe nine or eight to go. That's pretty badass. Yeah, we're still... Are we getting that really slow restart glitch thing? Yes, we are. All right. Well, thank you, game, for fucking me over. I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I got it. I mean, they literally... I just died on the start. I I got no words. I just got boned. Okay, I all right, I did say I wanted something weird or interesting to happen and and we got it. The game did not disappoint there. I will give it that, but the, this is not what I was really having in mind though. So the, this does kind of suck. We do have enough time to get back up there, but wow, that just that was like a NASCAR Thunder 2004, NASCAR 05, 06 and it's like an EA Sport like restart there where we're just we're just horrible. Well the good thing is we finally caught up to this pack, which is good. We also have a lot of laps left to go, so it's still, you know, very possible to get back up there, but man, this is now a almost like a we have to be like Dale Earnhardt, go from like eighteenth to first, except eight ninth to what, twentieth to first in like six laps. It's not exactly the same, but it's pretty close. Also, we need some big time drafting help though, because we're not really going anywhere. Yeah, really, I, we didn't actually go anywhere. We lost, uh, we actually, you know, we stayed the same. So, Eric Jones is leading, which is kind of important. He also has three wins this season, which I didn't even know he had. He got two at the road course, and then one somewhere else. So, that's, that's, that's your fun fact of the day. And I, I think BJ McLeod was currently up there leading at one point, but not anymore. But, um, yeah, this is not good. This is not good at all. As long as we get some, like, there we go. That's what I was looking for. It's like, just to get, like, a run and then have, like, some cars behind me, then we can kind of get our way up to the field. But when there's, like, no one behind me, it's really, really hard to, to make a move. And thankfully, can the game stop doing that, please? It, it, it's really it's really hard to, to oh, my God, well, I don't want to get mad, but I'm getting mad. But we're 14th, and we're moving up to the field, so this is good. Uh, Kligerman is leading. Oh, my. I just can't believe I had that restart glitch thing. That's the first time it's happened to me in this crew and it took and it took this damn long. Poor Toxic got boned by that like at least like ten different times. So it's kinda shocking that I finally was able to get it. Unless like the Xbox version just doesn't have that happen as often as the PS4. I don't I don't know. And oh that's cute. Ricky Stenhouse is leading at Talladega. Well that's adorable, but we're moving up through the field. We're just tall and ass now. We got we got to worry about Michael McDowell though because for some reason he's very fast today and that's a bit of a concern. I think he's pushing Stenhouse. I think. No, he okay. He stopped. But man, we got like we got so many scrubs up here. Poor Denny Hamlin still is probably not going to win a race this year. <laughs> he's up here, but he's he's just not in the winning position. Eric Almirola is though. Oh, he won at restricted plates twice. One under rain and one under fuel strategy. He won. Man, imagine being Eric Almirola and having your two wins be like. On, on very unique circumstances. Two circumstances that usually are kind of frowned upon in, in the, the world of uh, NASCAR fans. Winning under rain conditions and then winning on fuel strategy. That was almost a dump, but yeah, I just pushed him into the lead. 
we should be able... Oh, can Land and Castle give me a push? Oh, we'll, no, maybe we don't even need to worry about that. Okay, no, I, I, do need, I do need help. Landon, please? Please? That Starcom guy, he's giving it all he's got. Oh, that was a little bit of a push. Thank you. Oh, it's not going to be enough, though. But I respect that. I respect that, Castle. I, the, oh, his car just did <laughs> Gave it all he had, and the car just gave up on him there right at the very end. We should be able to make the move. Side draft. Pull him back. And new leader? Are we... No, we're not clear. And we're going to have you know, the low lane here in the corner, which is preferred in this game. And it's actually going to... All right, new leader. Now we just got to block our asses off. Oh my god, that was going into the white flag. Oh my god. Oh, please, game, do not... Oh, are we good? Yeah, we're barely good on fuel. Damn, that would... Oh, Tyler Reddick probably blew a tire. A lot of people laugh down still. Wow. Uh, where's Kurt? Kurt, where are you? He's 38th. Oh, he died in the... Re oh, championship implications for him. All right, well... Um... Man, this is going to get very interesting. Uh, everybody else is pitting. Can I even make it on fuel? Oh my god, the whole field pitted. Well, I'm just going to go with fuel. I worked! Okay, perfect. Now, game, do not give me that stupid thing that happened to me last time. Because that that just, just like, it took me like, a, like two laps nearly to get back up to speed, it felt like. And, okay, it didn't do it this time. I appreciate that game. Now we just got a block. I don't, oh, thank you, Lanny Castle. Oh, now we got to worry about Hamlin. Which, I don't know if I have too much to worry about, because, I mean, he's choked in different ways this year to win a race, so maybe I don't have to really worry too much about him. White flags out. Eric Almarola with a hell of a run. We're just going to go right here in the middle and duck down low. For a for about a lap there, I was running like the middle of the high lane because Hamlin kind of had a run up there or was kind of maintaining it. Oh, it's, oh boy, we almost lost it there. Oh boy, okay. That was scary. Okay, as long as they're two by two like that, it's manageable. And okay, the outside line is kind of losing momentum, which is perfect. All right, we just got to worry about the bottom lane end. Hamlet, wow, he just stacked them all. He's he, he choked. He found a new way to choke a second place away. Oh, no, they're getting around the outside. Here we go to the line. Block, block, Eric Camarola, go, go. Yes! Oh, my God. Oh, I think I chopped someone's nose off, like, right at the line. Oh, my God. Alrighty, game. Well, you threw me a, a freaking a wrench in a curveball. I thought this would be very uneventful, but it was not. It was fucking absolutely uh, heart pounding. Well, I haven't done this in in a while, but there we go. Ooh, ooh. If I could just get. Oh, oh, that was almost my ideal spin. Oh, ooh, that was pretty. Okay, I like that. All right, well, that's actually, I'll give that a nine out of ten. Finishing results. We got the win. Eric Amaral second. Parker Kligerman third. Landon Castle with a top 10. Stenhouse ninth. A lot of random people up there. And then we got Hamlin. <laughs> so, poor Hamlin. And a lot of people that run well, like Tyler Reddick had a bad finish. Uh, Brad, who was up there right at the end, had a horrible one. As well as Ryan Blaney, Boyer, uh, Chase. So there's, a, <laughs> there's a lot of people that had bad days. Oh my goodness. Well, this is going to make the the grid very interesting after this one just to kind of see where it all shakes up and we got a good chunk of money of all things and 588 and there's our grid at the moment it's a it's a mishmash we're good to go chase elliott's 36 points back which is not good same for kurt same as for boyer and ryan truex ryan. i i had it half right ryan blaney and then uh yeah so i think I think 7th on back could change, but I think 6th on up are pretty good to make it, unless something big time tragic happens, but again, that just messed up the whole order by a lot, like it's just all over the place now. <laughs> I think Brad can make it because he's been really fast this year, so yeah. Obviously we had another win, that's our 8th win of the season, 
and I'll seventh win of the season, but our eighth win in career totals. 21 laps led, nice. And yeah, we have the fastest lap, that, and we'll get the um, on the move, and who got sent to the back so I can lap at him. Or who had like the worst day? Probably Kirk Bush. No, oh my god. Oh, poor Jimmy. Moderate savings, huh? All because of that little back bumper damage from bump drafting that just destroyed the whole car, apparently. To, I, I don't understand. Uh, multiple drivers. Best friends with Ikarov, and I'm lucky to have so many great friends, says... That's a PR song right there. She just She's just saying that just to be good with everybody publicly, but... Boy, howdy, if they looked at the Twitter replies and you just see, like, constant, like, provoking messages, like, <laughs> simp or fuck off or it's it's i don't know just it's just funny because like i don't i do not do that at all my character does not do that i just like insult and provoke so many people uh did anybody see how close that race was uh i mean it really wasn't a photo finish it was kind of like a car length but whatever we'll insult you uh bj mcleod uh but i always want um, bj mcleod wants to be a girl a little weird but hey i mean you do you bj no we can't go bowling harvick we're in a pandemic some states are kind of like in the yellow now, but I mean, mine isn't at the moment, so I don't know. But I can't think of anybody. Rather... Nope. Well, I'm such a... insult you, Kurt. Lenny Castle, stop being like George Lucas. I'm running out of jokes. I really am running out of jokes. No, we're not going fishing, Matt Tiff. Nope. Uh, Chase Selly, a clean and professional win. I love it when a good driver gets the win. Yeah, actually, I actually have more wins than you in one season here. So, uh, yeah, I just, yeah. Uh, good. No, Corey LaJoy, we we're in a pandemic. Uh, clean win. No lucky jerk. I know what William Byron. <laughs> Wait. Okay, maybe I can't say that because I think maybe he does have more than he wins in you know in, in all three series combined. I, I don't. Oh yeah, he definitely does. Yeah, he definitely does. Okay, ne never mind. All the work plan stuff situated, so we're good. Now we get to look at our handy dandy stats. But obviously, first and foremost, we got seven million in the bank, and that's only under a million away to our next and final engine upgrade, which should be possible within maybe three race time. So that's my assumption. Maybe four. But we'll definitely get it by the end of the season. But yeah, let's look at this real quick. So with 341 laps laid total, where does that put us? 341 times four. 1364. I think that still keeps us in the same exact spot as we were previously at. Because the gap was like 1280 and the next was like 1410. So and we're definitely still a good chunk away from that. And as far as wins are concerned... We'll have to look that up, to look that up real quick because uh, we haven't won in a while, so I don't know where that puts us now. So with our eighth win, that only moves us up I, like a spot. <laughs> we are tied with Kyle Petty, and we are under Bob Wellborn. So uh, yeah, that's where we are at. So really, nothing too much drastically changed, but it's progress. Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters, the Devil Rounds, Weather Bros, Comic Has the Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave in our champ 15, Alan Gray, NASCAR and Recite.org, Billy Carey, Drew, Jonathan Carr, and Robert Dillon, Golf Kid 100, and Crazy Outlaw for donation again. I can't thank guys enough for contribution and support that channel every single month like this. It does go quite a long ways with everything, all things considered. And it's just absolutely freaking incredible. I really, really is. I'm, I've said it so many times, I've ran out of words to interpret it, but it's, uh, oh, it, I'm just so thankful. That'll do it for me in this part. Um, I need to look at the chase card again. Okay, no. Oh my god, I'm stupid. I said Brad was going to have a problem, but he, he's obviously in because he won the last round. And this is the last round. I thought Talladega was the first round. What is wrong with me? So yeah, um, yeah. there's a lot of drivers that have problems going into Kansas. I don't, I don't know. It's Some of these drivers that are in a hole right now, like Chase, Kurt, Boyer, Blaney, I just don't know if they can make up that, that spots. I, th I think I th it's a lot easier to lose uh, points than gain them. So they're going to be in uh, big time trouble unless they get some big time stage points. But really, I think for the most part, unless Harvick literally has like an explosion day, he might he, he'll probably get through. Really, the only people that are kind of on the bubble is uh, Eric Almirola on down. So I guess we'll see how that plays out. It's hard to keep track of like where the points are because if there's some, like, stage points and stuff. It's it's really hard to keep track. So I mean I, I don't know. I guess that would be cool in like the when the stage ends. It shows like maybe like under caution or something. You can look at like the the playoff grid as it stands after that stage, which you need to factor in like stage you know or playoff stage points and stuff. So you can kind of see where that's at. 
I don't know. That'd be kind of neat just to know what's going on because there's just a lot to keep track of, and I, I don't even know half the time. <laughs> but either way, that'll do it for me in this part. I'll see you all in the next one. I'll see you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.